Hello Internet, I'm Scarecrow85, and right now we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Although what this is actually called is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Advanced Edit. Uh, part of a hacking competition, I believe? Uh, a little behind on that one, not quite sure what was going on there, but it sounds like fun. Ooh, look! <gasps> so this is, I think these are called Beatons? <laughs> Beating him into submission, am I right? <laughs> Um, and that is a Bane Motora, so it's a motorbug with a spring on top, basically. It means that you can't kill them by jumping on top of them. Pretty decent design, actually. That I prefer them to motorbugs, even though motorbugs are an established and very good design. I like the little Bane Motora. They're quite cute. They're a bit more rounded. So, yeah, this is a modification of Sonic 2. And so far, so normal, apart from the fact that the graphics look damn nice. <laughs> And we've got the delightful inclusion of, oh look, some Sonic Chaos bad mix, but also like this section here with the exclamation mark. That's straight out of the Game Gear Sonic 1. And I noticed the level design resembled uh, Sonic 1 a little bit as well. Sonic 1 Mega Drive. But this slope, it's not unlike Sonic 1 Game Gear. Oh, hello. And this is different. What is this? Ooh! Very interesting. Yeah, I approve. <laughs> oh, ow! Not of that. Oh, that's gonna drop. Right, okay, so presumably Knuckles is available in this game then, if there's an obstruction like that. The music's quite nice. Springs popping out of the ground like that. Whoa! Okay, that's a weird bit of design. Whoa! Huh. Interesting. Yeah, springs popping out of the ground like that is a very Sonic Chaos-y sort of thing. Hmm. Okay, this is all very weird. I guess we go this way. Ooh. Follow the rings. If you're ever not sure on a Sonic game, follow the rings. Wow, going back the other way. This level design is intriguing. It's very linear, but interesting. Ooh, okay. Level. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's quite a long level, this. Uh, let's grab some of these, or one of them. Right, let's take this carefully. So, whoop. Thankfully, these aren't buzz bombers or buzzers, so they can't shoot at me, which is a relief. Oh, gonna do a blind jump here. Can't quite see where I'm going. There we go. These are very small platforms. This is quite advanced platforming for stage one. <laughs> oh, hello, matey. Wow. I wonder if I can... Yeah, there must be a... Oh, no. Oh, ow! Alright. Jeez. This is a tricky... Uh, mm. <laughs> Am I supposed to have gone in there? Is that a legit shortcut? I don't know. Whoa! This level is challenging as heck. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this. It's massive! How are we still going? That was a lucky jump, by the way. There we go. Have that, Eggman. Oh, I've just noticed, actually, we got the Sonic 3 sprite for Sonic. That's quite nice. <laughs> the Sonic 1 music for level completion. This is a hodgepodge of all the other Sonic games, but with some really nice execution. I'm not totally sure that I like the level design. I mean, it's, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. Like, the level design is good, but... A little inappropriate. I mean, in the respect that this is too hard for Act 1. Come on. <laughs> and I'm not saying necessarily that it is hard. I mean, it's a Sonic game, but just too hard for an Act 1. Like, this is... There's some pretty tricky platforming going on here. Okay, can't go that way. This looks good. Ooh. Yeah, all the tricks. Look, they want you to jump on that Bane Motor and hit the spikes on top. I'm assuming this is all Death Pit beneath me, so got to try and stay on the platforms, not hit these guys. All of these, like those, those two. Um, uh, I don't know what I forgot what they're called. Uh, beaten. That was it. Whoa! Yeah, they came along at just the right time to be in the way. If I'd hit them off of that spring, I'd have fallen backwards into the pit. Whoa! All right, I think we're going this way. Actually. Yeah, okay, we're good. There's another wall we can't break through. So maybe we are going back the other way. Alright. 
kind of lost track of what the level wants me to do here. <laughs> oh, okay, that spring was firing us back this way. Little unsure of where I'm meant to be going here. Let's try. Feels like we're going backwards, but oh. We didn't go backwards per se, but we didn't go forwards either. Hmm, just trying to find a way through the level at this point. Where do we go? I'm going to try going left off of this ramp. Go over the top of these. Yeah, this looks, this looks like the way. Here we go. Well, I appreciate that. A little bit of puzzling going on here. Trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. Ooh, can we get on this? Not sure. Let's go the intended route, shall we? Quite a peeling background, nothing particularly special, but quite nice. Okay, yeah, this looks like it. We'll do, ooh, watch out, guys, watch out. Oh, oh Tails nearly buggered me there, didn't he? Oh, you can get back up here on our spring, you little sod. <laughs> right, we're going over the top. A general rule in Sonic games is if you stick to the higher path, you should be alright. Hang on a minute, let's see if we can get extra life. I don't think I'm going to have enough forward momentum to make that. Whoop. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the spikes if I attempt that. <laughs> it's fine. We'll go this way. Ooh, lost a bit of momentum there. That was weird. <clears throat> Platforms that give way slightly underneath you terrify me in Sonic games. Because, for all you know, they're just going to drop. Oh, buggery! If you get too close to them, they auto-spring you. You don't actually have to jump onto them. Oh, this death, isn't it? Yeah. Always a sign of... I don't know, it's not... I don't consider it very good level design. And it's not just a... a you know, a, a modding or ROM hack thing. It's Sega and Dimps and... There are plenty of developers that have done this. Bottomless pits as a gimmick in a stage. Like, I consider it bad level design. It's not... You know, it's not fair on the player, particularly. Not not hugely keen. Oh, but we have made it to a boss! Is it the first boss of Sonic 2? Yes, it is. <laughs> right. Well, this should be nice and easy. I quite like the music. <clears throat> Missed. Ooh. Let's try and get a spin dash in there as well. Woo! Nice and easy. Ooh, Neo Gigapolis zone. OMG. Oh, you're kidding me. Do you know what? I didn't know that this was a Sonic Chaos remake. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. I had no idea. I, when I DL'd this mod, it, it pretty much just called itself Advanced... Um, advanced Edition, I think? Woo! Oh man, these are tough. Whoa. Whoa, not liking this. Um, yeah, so I, I assumed it was going to be like a... If, a... if it was a remake of anything, it would be a remake of one of the advanced games. But this is Sonic Chaos, effectively. And that's awesome! Sonic Chaos is my favourite Sonic game. I mean, look, I'm not going to try and tell you that that's a good game, necessarily. I'm pretty... I've done a game over for the win of that on my channel, so feel free to check it out if, if you're interested. But Sonic Chaos is a decent game. One of the oh look, there's a dock of boot on. Oh, that is so cool. Oh look, that sprite. That's awesome, you guys. Oh, you well, you've yeah, you've done it. I'm I'm thrilled with that. Nerdgasm. <laughs> um, yeah, Sonic Sonic Chaos was the Sonic game of my childhood. It's the one that I had on my Sega Master System 2. And what I've always loved about Sonic Chaos is that it's so different to the other Sonic games. 
it's it's really weird. I'm trying to get some lift off of this spring button in case you're wondering why I'm spending so much time on it. Yeah, there we go. Um, and the stages are, are quite creative in Sonic Chaos, and the badniks are unusual, and it's generally just a really cool game. I absolutely love it. So, ah, I'm really pleased that this exists. Incidentally, I am aware that there is a quite a big, really decent, um, like independently made Sonic modificator. Uh, not even. It's like a fan game, so it's not a modification, it's not a ROM hack or anything like that, it's a, it's a fully implemented game in its own right. Oh, buggery. Timing on that was not good. Um, yeah, that somebody's making a, a Sonic Chaos remake at the moment, which I've seen the trailer for and it looks utterly amazing. I can't wait to have a crack at that. It might even be available now. No, I'm not sure that it is, actually. But uh, as soon as I get my hand, hands on a copy of that, I will absolutely be doing that for my channel. I'll be all over that. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that was nearly that was nearly not good. Oh, this is great. Do you know what? I mean, the, one of the main problems with Sonic Chaos, uh, if you've ever played it, or seen someone play it, is that the levels in Sonic Chaos are extremely short. Oh. <laughs> uh, they're really short, like way too short. They were limited on the platform they were using, they, they obviously felt they couldn't make the levels too big, but it was too short. So getting to play like a full-sized Gigapolis stage, and I mean they, they've got the aesthetics down absolutely perfectly. This this looks like Gigapo Gigapolis. Um, I love that starry sky in the background, and it's kind of like Starlight Zone, I suppose, in many ways. Whoa, nice bounce! <laughs> oh, hang on. Ugh. Oh no! Ah! I wonder if my little thrash can protect me against a, a single hit. Let's try. Nope. <laughs> Better get off them. Oh, I lost my rings. Oh, there goes one. Missed it. Let's hope there's nothing dangerous around this here corner. Oh, there isn't. That's good. <laughs> I like that Robotnik's face is in the bottom right there. The uh, constellation of Eggman, apparently. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's a very Sega-like uh, level design feature. Okay, let's go in here. Ooh, look at this. That was something else about Sonic Chaos. There was a, quite a lot of rings available to you. So this, this is an almost exact recreation of uh, the Gigapolis Stage 2 from Sonic Chaos. That's, I recognise this completely. But the end of the stage was just after this. Because <laughs> it was tiny. Yeah, you'd come here, you'd come up here, and bam, finished. The end of the stage would literally have been right here. But they put a checkpoint there instead. Nice. <laughs> Guys, look, whoever made this, I appreciate this so much. Like, as a fan of Sonic Chaos, there's some love gone into this. And I didn't really notice that we were playing a Sonic Chaos <laughs> um, modification until uh, this stage. I mean, the first stage I, I noticed and was well aware of the Badnik appearances, but I hadn't really twigged. <laughs> I even commented, didn't I, that the springs that were popping out of the ground were very Sonic Chaos y. It's because it literally was. <laughs> That's exactly what I was playing. Oh, I'm over the moon. <laughs> I can't believe this. You'd think, wouldn't you, that I might have, I don't know, played or tested this before recording, but no. <laughs> I just went right in. Blind playthrough. Here we go, guys. I'm doing it. <laughs> and why not? It's more fun this way. It means we get to experience it together. How nice is that? If you're into your Sonic... Oh, this is a little bit tricksy. Hang on, his tail's walking on the floor down there. Is there actually something down there? Or did he just dupe me? Yeah, that's that looks like death. I think Tails just did the impossible. <laughs> Ducker Bouton is one of my all-time favourite badniks as well. Look at that thing. So cool. Bam. Bit of a fan of beetle-like creatures as well, so that's probably why. As a kid, I never actually noticed that they were beetles with a, with a horn. I thought that the the two... I don't know what you call them, really. The bits on the end of the horn, anyway. I thought it, that that was its head, and it had like a really long neck. I was very confused. <laughs> so this is normally where you would face the killer style boss 
um, which does appear in Sonic Mania. I've forgotten how to fight this boss, evidently. I'm trying to make the most of uh, the invincibility, which is going to wear out very shortly. Can't reach him. Just let him get a bit closer. Oh, let's <laughs> run out. So yeah, okay. This stage is somewhat reminiscent of Metropolis Zone, so they've used the Metropolis Zone boss encounter, which is fair. You know, you work with what you've got. They, they obviously couldn't draw new sprites for the bosses, or at least couldn't recreate Gigapolis boss, so they just used the existing bosses, but reordered them, and that's fine. I quite like that. <laughs> I'm glad to have that one out of the way, anyway. <laughs> Ugh. Tell you what, look, I mean, I know Sonic 2 is a lot of people's favourite Sonic game, and I love it a lot. It's a big part of uh, my childhood. Uh, I played it. I enjoyed it. I didn't like some of the stages, though. Some of the stages were absolute arse. Um, sorry if, if you love all of them, um, but I, I didn't like Oil Ocean Zone and I didn't like Metropolis Zone. Metropolis Zone was just too big! Went on forever. It was the only stage that had three um, acts in it as well. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not really recognising this from Sonic Chaos. Ow. Oops. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah, this seems to be an entirely original stage. So I'm guessing that this is, or would originally have been, Mystic Cave Zone. Ow. But it's... This looks and plays an awful lot like Marble Zone from Sonic 1. I suppose this could be Aqua... Ruin, actually. Now, with all these doors opening and switches and stuff, it's got to be Mr. Cave, right? Ooh. Wow, I am so intrigued by this. What? What is this mod? It's so cool. Whoa! Well, I fluffed that up. <laughs> Let's try and land on that. I reckon that's the objective here. Ooh. Whoa! Twang. I love the sound the springs make, don't you? <laughs> some of the sound effects actually in the Sonic games, some of the best. Best in the biz! <laughs> and uh, yeah, the springs are a pretty classic. Wow! Have I been missing special stages? I probably have. I imagine they won't have messed with those. Robotic Ruin Zone. Well, its name is certainly isn't based on anything from Sonic Chaos. Okay. It's being stingy with the rims. Incidentally, it's something that I think people sort of forget about the classic Sonic games. Oh, there's Bat Brains as well. Yeah, well that's... this is very Sonic 1. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um, yeah, something that people seem to forget about... Oh no! Got a bit carried away there. Um, oh, bugger. <laughs> well, I achieved a game over, so I mean, I should have done this as a game over for the win, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's all we're going to see of this game. So I will stop the video here, but that was pretty damn cool. I'm intrigued to find out what the rest of the stages are like. And I urge you to take a look at it if you get a chance. Um, I'll put its proper title in the description uh, so you can find it a bit easier because I didn't change the splash screen or anything. Um, but that was super duper fun and I really appreciate the fact that they included so many uh, Sonic Chaos elements. But it's not actually a Sonic Chaos remake because, yeah, there are loads of elements that are different. And that third stage, what was that about? That was so cool. So, yeah, this has been a bit of an adventure. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have. Uh, thanks for coming along with me on this little ride. <laughs> it's a little blind playthrough of a fun Sonic modification. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.